In our last lecture, we discussed about types of faults in a power system and we discussed that we have two types of faults, the symmetrical faults i.e. the faults which give rise to symmetrical fault currents, equal fault currents with an equal 120 degree displacement are called symmetrical fault currents and we discussed that there are rare chances of symmetrical fault currents. Only the possible phenomena is that the, all the three phases are shot together at once. The second type of faults are the unsymmetrical faults which is completely opposite to the symmetrical faults in which the power system gave rise to unequal fault currents with unequal phase displacements. The fault currents are not equal and similarly the phase displacement is unequal. And then we discuss that to solve these unsymmetrical fault currents we have some methods to solve these unsymmetrical fault currents like we can use the KVL or the KCL but they are very difficult to use and to solve the power system circuits with the unsymmetrical faults and that's why we use the symmetrical component methods. In symmetrical component method, what we do, we divide the imbalance, phase, voltages or currents into some balanced positive, negative and zero phase sequence. like we have some voltage V n. What we can do in this using the symmetrical components method, we can divide this V a into some components V a1, V b V a2 and V a0. In, we have divided this into symmetrical components with the one denotes the positive phase sequence, two denotes the negative phase sequence and zero denotes the zero phase sequence. Similarly the VB can be divided into VB1, VB2 and VB0 with one denoting the positive phase sequence two denoting the negative phase sequence and zero denoting the zero phase sequence. Similarly the VC can VC can be divided into VC1, VC2 and VC0 denoting the positive, the negative and the zero phase sequence respective. Uh, conventionally if we can see we can divide for example these are some phase voltages V A B V A C we can divide this into some positive phase sequence and the main reason how we can understand that whether this is the positive phase sequence and if whether it is the negative phase sequence it is very easy if the angle between the A and the B is minus 120 degree we say this is the positive phase sequence denoting by V A B C. Similarly if the angle between the between the A and the B component is plus 120 degree is plus 120 degree like here then we denote this by the negative phase sequence and similarly here we can see it, it is denoted by a, C and B. So if we use for example we have some three phase system and the three voltages are V A, V C and V B. What we can do? We can divide this V A into three components 
the positive phase sequence component the negative phase sequence component and the zero phase sequence component similarly we can divide this vc into three components we can we divide this vc into three components the positive phase sequence the negative phase sequence and the zero phase sequence component similarly we can divide the v p into three components hey the positive the negative and the zero and if we want to see the total response we need to just add all these three. these are the positive phase sequence component the positive means the angle between a and b is 120 degree with minus sign similarly these are the negative phase sequence the angle between 1 and 2 uh, between the a and b is the 120 degree with plus sign and similarly these are the zero phase sequence component the zero phase sequence component and what we can do we can just by adding the v a v with the v the positive phase sequence component the negative phase sequence component and the zero phase sequence component we can get the total response of the system so here you can see this is for like here we have three voltages so we have total nine components three positive components three negative sequence component and three zero sequence component so we have total nine components the va1 if we add with the zero the negative sequence component and similarly if we add the zero sequence component and by using head to tail rule we combine all three these three systems we get some resultant va similarly for vb for vb we can use the positive phase sequence the negative and the zero phase sequence and we can get some vb component similarly for vc adding the positive the negative and the zero phase sequence component we can get some v c vc and if we see the resultant vc we can see that that every everyone has some different uh different value for the current and some phase angle and this look by using even the balance component by using even the positive negative zero phase sequence component the positive negative and zero phase sequence component the positive negative and zero phase sequence component all the components are balanced but by using the balance component we get some imbalance system here you can see that va v have some different magnitude and some ang different angle displacement here we can see that the vc have some different fault value and the different and similarly for vb all the three have different similarly what we can do we can also divide for example if we have the i1 uh, the uh, iy ir and ib we can divide this into the positive the negative and the zero phase sequence can the positive the negative and the zero phase sequence component we can divide all these three into some nine components and then we can add and we can get that we ir actually the ir current is the combination of the positive phase sequence current the negative phase sequence current and the zero phase sequence current similarly the iy vector is the combination of i1 vector plus i y1 vector i y2 and i y0 the positive negative and zero component and similarly for the i v so we can combine all these and get the total system and what actually here look at the point 1 the point 1 denotes that these are the positive negative sequence but the balance component are an imbalance system these positive negative and zero sequence or the balance component of an imbalance system and this theory the symmetrical component theory can be equally applied to three phase currents and voltages for both phase and line values and the third point symmetrical components don't have separate existence they are only mathematical components of unbalanced current or voltage which actually flow in the system so in the real time there are no such type of components that you have one phase and that have some three values this this is actually this is not existing in real time but 
For mathematical representation, we divide this into positive, negative, and zero components sequence. So let's make these things simple and use the concept of operator A. Like we discuss that we have for every phase we can divide it into some positive negative and zero phase sequence so what it, and every component have some 120 degree displacement so we use the concept of the operator a operator a is one which when multiply to a vector rotate it through 120 degree in anti clockwise direction a is a vector which is when multiplied to some other vector it rotate its this vector into 120 degree like here we have some vector o a we have some vector o a what if i multiply o a with some a like i have a vector o a some current some i some current and i multiply this i with a what happens this vector moves 120 degree in counter clockwise direction similarly if i multiply this i a with some another a it rotates 120 degree in counter clockwise and similarly i multiply this i with some another a it will rotate it into some 120 degree counter clockwise so a vector like you can relate the a, these three vectors by simply using the concept of n ve a vector a like all these three are actually the same vector with some multiplication of a if you have o a and you want the o b just multiply it with a similarly if you have o b and you want to OC multiply it again with some A. So this is the operator concept of operator A. Here you can see that if we have a vector A and we multiply it with a vector I with some A what happens we get the I with 120 degree in the counterclockwise direction and as already we saw that if we come divide this solve this 120 degree we can get the cos 120 degree plus j sin 120 degree cos j sin 120 degree and similarly sin j j 120 degree and cos 120 degree is minus 0.5 sin 120 degree is 0.86 so the value of the operator a is minus 0.5 plus j.866 similarly if we use like the operator a is multiplied with some a square so this means actually it is multiplied it is moved some 240 degree 120 plus 120 degree 240 degree so cos 240 plus j sin 240 is equal to minus 0.5 and minus 0 0.866 a square is a square is minus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.866 and similarly for the a cube for the a cube it is 120 degree plus 120 degree plus 120 degree so a cube is 360 degree 360 degree so cos 360 plus j sin 360 is equal to 1 so a cube is 1 a square is minus 0 0.5 into uh, mi minus 0 0.5 minus j.86 and a is minus 0 0.5 plus j.866 also if you want to denote it in some other way a square is actually minus 120 degree if a is plus 120 degree a square is minus 120 degree so the properties of operator a number one 
वन प्लस ए प्लस ए स्क्वेर इक्वल टू जीरो माइनस पॉइंट फाइव प्लस जे पॉइंट एट सिक्स सिक्स दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ए वाइल दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ माइनस ए टू ए स्क्वेर इज माइनस पॉइंट फाइव माइनस जे पॉइंट एट सिक्स सिक्स इक्वल टू माइनस वन सो वन प्लस ए प्लस ए स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड सिमिलरली ए माइनस ए स्क्वेर ए माइनस ए स्क्वेर इज जे रूट थ्री सो साइमेट्रिकल कंपोनेंट्स इन टर्म ऑफ फेस करेंट्स साइमेट्रिकल कंपोनेंट्स इन टर्म ऑफ फेस कंपोनेंट्स वी कैन राइट दैट आई आर इज इक्वल टू आई आर वन द पॉजिटिव फेस सीक्वेंस करंट आई आर टू द नेगेटिव फेस सीक्वेंस करंट एंड आई आर जीरो द जीरो फेस सीक्वेंस कंपोनेंट सिमिलरली द आई वाई इज द आई वाई वन आई वाई टू वेक्टर एंड आई वाई जीरो वेक्टर This is the summation of all these three vector. Similarly, the i b one is the i b one, i b two, and i b zero. Positive components, the negative components, and the zero sequence component. And if we denote this in term of the in term of the operator a concept, so i i r one. is i r1 is if for example this is the reference vector and we rotate this vector by 120 degree so it will be equal to the i b1 and we already discussed the rotating 120 degree is possible by just multiplying a component a similarly if we see again rotate this this vector to another 120 degree we can get like uh, we can get the i y1 so it is using the concept the concept of operator a we can change we can change the vector to 120 degree and we can easily denote the i r1 uh, the i b1 and i y1 in form of i r1 similarly in this case the i r2 the negative phase sequence component can be related to the i v b i y2 using some operator a similarly some operator a square for 240 degree and for zero we don't need any moment so we already discuss that i r1 is equal to i r1 plus i r is equal to i r1 plus i r2 plus i Or square and i y one is equal to i y one two i y one i y two i y zero or we can just simply using the concept of the operator so i i r one is equal to a square i r one plus a i r two plus i r zero i b one i b two and i b zero can be denoted a i r one a square i r two plus a i r square and just by adding these three components i r r i y and i b we we can denote this i r one a a square a Similarly, a a a square and three into i r one, and we already discuss in the properties that one plus a square plus a is equal to zero. So this component is zero. This component is zero. Here only is the zero sequence component. So the i i r zero is actually one third of the total current. I r zero is the combination of one third of the total current. Similarly, for i r 
for the negative phase sequence component for the negative phase sequence what we do we multiply the equation 2 by a and the equation 3 by a square and simply i r i r plus a into i y plus a square into i b square and here if we see we have some combination of this type like i r 1 1 plus a cube plus a cube similarly 1 plus a square plus a 4 and 1 plus a so this component is already 0 And here, this is 1, 1, and 1. And this component is already 0, so the total is 3 into i r1. Similarly, for the negative phase sequence component, for the negative phase sequence component, we divide the i the equation 2 by a square and the equation 3 by a. And the negative phase sequence component can be divided into 1 by 3 i r a square into a square into i y plus a into i b. So here we can discuss that we we have you we can use or we can find the value of the current for the zero phase sequence the positive phase sequence and the negative phase sequence simply by using the concept of operator a for the zero phase sequence it is there is no operator and just add all the components and divide by three for the second just add all the threes with some operator a and divided by three and for the negative add all the components with some operator a and divided by 3